Hey guys, Zim's Jeep. In this one, I'm going to go over the process that I use for uh, repairing drywall. Now, as you can see here, uh, this is a hole that I had to cut in the ceilings of one of the rooms in my house for a project I just got done completing. Uh, this was installing some lights. Uh, I'll have a video shortly about this, so stay tuned for that one. But I know there's a lot of videos out there detailing drywall repairs and mudding, spackling, that type of thing, but maybe you could pick up a new thing or two from mine. So the first step obviously is to get the measurements of your patch that you need. You want to take a couple measurements across the width of it and take the smallest measurement and take an eighth to a quarter inch off of that. And you're going to do the same thing for the length. You don't want the patch to be the exact measurement. It's going to be very difficult to get into place. So here I'm just writing those measurements down. I am going to be repainting this entire room so I can uh, go ahead and mark up things the way I need to. Uh, so just transferring those measurements now to a scrap piece of drywall that I had laying around. Using a T-square here. And the best piece of advice I can give you here is just to make sure you have a new blade and your uh, utility knife. It makes this process a lot easier. Uh, if you have a dull blade in there, it's going to tear the paper on the drywall. It's just going to make it that much more difficult for you to go ahead and snap this piece off that you're going to need. So then just take both hands, gently bend it, it'll snap right off, and then you just score the bottom of it and cut the paper on the other side. And you'll have a uh, nice clean piece of drywall for your repair. Okay, now what I'm doing here is cutting a slight taper on the edge of that piece of drywall we just cut out. And I'll show you a little more in detail what this is for later. But real quickly, this is going to create a recess for our tape and mud to sit into when we get to the later stages of this repair. And here I'm just cutting that same taper now into the existing piece of drywall that's on the ceiling. And these two tapers that we cut are going to meet on that butt joint and it's going to give us a smoother transition uh, when we go and tape and mud this. And here's just a close up of the taper now. Again, it doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to do the job. Here I'm just resecuring that original piece of drywall to the ceiling. You have to keep in mind that when we cut this section of drywall out, we lost our nailing edge that was closest to the corner of the ceiling. And we can't leave that original full-size piece of drywall unsecured. Uh, it's going to sag over time. It's going to create cracks and problems on your seam that you're going to be taping and mudding. Uh, so basically just driving a screw into each ceiling joist. Don't skip any of them. Make sure you hit every single one. And you don't want to overdrive those screws. You're just looking to slightly dimple the paper so the screw is slightly recessed below the surface of the drywall just to accept some mud in the next stages. Went ahead and cut some small scrap pieces of plywood and what we're going to use these for is nailers to attach our new drywall patch to. Uh, what you can go ahead and do is put in a screw and use it as a handle on that scrap piece. As you can see here, uh, allows you to hold it in place if need be. And same goes here, we're just going to take a screw and drive it into the original drywall, just slightly dimpling the paper to hold that piece of plywood in place. and just removing that screw now that we used as a handle. And just repeating that same process now on the other side. Okay, so getting our patch into place here now. Best piece of advice I can give you at this point, if the patch doesn't fit up there nicely and it's you're getting any little bit of resistance, uh, get it into place, take it down, and shave a little bit off of it. If you try to force it into place, especially on a piece this small, 
you're going to wind up breaking it and you have to go back and cut a new one. So just driving a screw now into each ceiling joist location, you can use those screws that we previously drove into the existing piece as a guide to where you're going to be driving those screws. Again, I know I said this a few times, you're just slightly dimpling the paper with these screws. It's very important that you don't overdrive them. Now, I didn't have a scrap piece of drywall long enough for this entire patch, so I had to split it up into two separate pieces. Now, if you do that, just make sure that your seam winds up falling on a ceiling joist. You don't want that floating in midair between two joists. And lastly, we just have to install the patch over the access hole I cut on the wall to run the wire and just making sure that I'm not hitting the nail protector plates that I have installed underneath the drywall. And that completes the installation of the drywall in this video. In the next one, I'm going to start detailing the taping and mudding of this job. So click the links in the description or on the screen to bring you to the next steps. And as always, thanks for watching.